Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for the love of glitter. Today I'm doing a first impressions for you guys on the Laura California Dreamin' Cheek Palette. You can get this at Ulta for $30. I've had my eye on this palette for ever since it launched. All the colors just look stunning to me. They're very neutral, so you could wear them for every day, and I absolutely love it. Before we get into the product, I want to go a little bit more into the packaging up close. It does have a magnetic closure. I actually really love the packaging. It's very long and slim, and I love all the random stickers on there. It's just very cute. Inside, you get a nice sized mirror, and here are your four blushes. The first one is Sunlight, Wavelength, Ray, and Golden Hour. So on the back of the box it says that this is supposed to be Highlight, Blush, Bronzer, Palette, and these are four limited edition shades. And it's basically supposed to give you a really nice glow, and so you get four shades. You get Sunlight, which is a shade right here, and this one is very smooth. And it's kind of like a peachy golden highlight color. It would make a really gorgeous blush topper shade. And that's what that one looks like. And then you get the shade Wavelength, which is this pinky peach color. And this one has subtle shimmers in it. Like when you swatch it, it almost doesn't even look like there's shimmers there. But there are. It's nothing that's too overwhelming, though. I'm going to re-swatch Sunlight. Um, that one feels a little bit more powdery as opposed to sunlight. Sunlight doesn't kick up as much powder. Then we have Ray, which is this gorgeous mauve brown tone color. I love this one. It's a matte. This is the only complete matte shade in this palette. So if you only like wearing matte blush shades, this might not be for you. So there we go. Very pretty. And the last shade is this gorgeous, gorgeous, it's called Golden Hour, and it's a gorgeous copper type of either blush or highlighter, whatever you want to use it. I'm still going to try and pull it off. <laughs> I don't know. But all of these colors are just so up my alley. I adore these types of colors. There's not one color that I dislike in this. I don't know what to start with. I think I'm going to start with Ray, which is a matte blush, and go from there. I think Ray is the only matte one, actually. It's like this gorgeous kind of nudie mauve color. And let's try it out. Ooh, this is more pigmented than I thought, so I, I shouldn't have... Oops. <laughs> you learn that way, though, don't you? Now, I think I'm going to go into the color wavelength of this light pink shimmery shade here. Let's see how pigmented this one is. Oh my gosh. Tap it off. Okay, look at all this powder kicking up, first of all. That one's very powdery. Um, ooh, I really like this color, but I am going way out on this cheek. This cheek is like... <laughs> this is bad. It's bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like my cheeks are just too crazy pigmented right now. But now you know that these are very, very, very pigmented. Like these blushes are not messing around with pigment. But I do recommend this blush if you are interested in these colors. People who might not find these more wearable is if you're very pale. Other than that, I think that they are wonderful. The lightest blush might be a little bit too light or look too ashy because it is more powdery on darker skin tones and then some of these darker colors might look too dark on fair skin tones. Be very careful when dipping your brush into here. I would suggest using not a very dense brush, a very fluffy brush um, and tapping slowly. It's better to build than to end up with the mess that I did. So I do like these colors, you just have to be careful with them. I think the packaging is very cute, and I think $30 is definitely worth it. I think that $30 is not a bad price for a high-end cheek palette. But like I said, obsessed with these colors. Obsessed. These are my favorite types of colors. Like, if I were to go to the store and pick out individual blushes on their own, 
they would look like this. So I kind of feel like this palette was made for me <laughs> because there's not one that I don't like in here. I honestly bought it because I'm getting ready to get married at the courthouse and I was like these colors I could see using for that. I had thought about buying a special individualized blush and then I was like you know what this is going to give me more options to decide to play around with and see what colors I really want to use because all the colors I really want to use even for my wedding day are more neutrally colors. So I'm really excited to play with this and create different combinations. Um, I feel like you definitely could do that kind of like contour with a blush and use your lighter blush at the top with this or use the matte and then use um, some of these shimmers to go on top of it. Just really play around with this. There's lots of cool things you can do. I'm really happy to add this to my collection. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and you'll have a great day.